Based on our patient's information, we have hypothesized a diagnosis of Crohn's disease. Crohn's is a form of inflammatory bowel disease that commonly affects the small and large intestines. However, it may develop anywhere throughout the structure of the digestive system. While little is known about the root cause of Crohn's disease, it is widely considered an autoimmune disorder which means that the body attacks healthy tissue because it mistakenly senses that the tissue is malevolent or harmful. Currently there isn't a cure for Crohn's, but it can remain in remission for extended periods of time when properly managed. Patients can successfully manage most symptoms by doing five daily activities. The first activity is taking medication. There are three categories of medication that Crohn's patients may take which include anti-inflammatories, immune system suppressants, and antibiotics. Anti-inflammatories are usually the first step in treating Crohn's, followed by immune system suppressants. These also reduce inflammation. Some researchers also believe antibiotics help reduce harmful intestinal flora, which suppresses the intestine's immune systems. Other medications include antinarial, laxative, and NSAIDs. Nutritional supplements and vitamins can also be beneficial for patients with Crohn's. Some of these include iron, which can restore iron levels after acute chronic intestinal bleeding, vitamin B12, D, and calcium to avoid the onset of osteoporosis because of excessive steroid usage, omega-3 fatty acids to help reduce inflammation. The next activity is nutrition. During flare-ups, the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America recommends eating smaller, more frequent meals every three to four hours. Patients should reduce greasy foods such as butter, margarine, or cream sauces. Patients with a narrowing of this lower small intestine may benefit from a low fiber diet free of raw fruits, vegetables, seeds, and nuts. Some patients may need to reduce or eliminate dairy products as well. For this meal, the patient has prepared 3 ounce baked chicken, a small baked potato without skin one tablespoon of light margarine, half cup steamed carrots, and eight ounces of water. Some good snacks to try between meals include a small ripe banana, half cup of unsweetened applesauce, or half cup of cereal. Keeping a journal can help you determine if you consume adequate calories, proteins, and other nutrients. A registered dietitian can review your diet and make suggestions for improvement if necessary. A food journal can also help you determine if there is a pattern to any foods that may aggravate your symptoms. The next activity is exercise. Patients should do low impact exercises like yoga, tai chi, and pilates. These exercises have a movement component but focus on rhythmic breathing. Low impact sports like golf would also be a good choice. Patients with Crohn's should walk, not run on treadmills and increase the track's elevation. Exercises like yoga link into the next activity, stress management. Because stress can worsen symptoms and trigger flare-ups, patients should practice breathing exercises for relaxation. They should get plenty of sleep so they are able to think clearly and may consider seeing a psychiatrist to keep emotional conflicts under control. This is another instance where journaling may be beneficial. It can function as a problem-solving tool and help patients identify what triggers their stress so they are able to think of better ways to handle stressful situations in the future.